Primary election day is tomorrow in Metro Detroit. Voters will weigh in on everything from mayoral and city council races to construction projects with hefty price tags. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom is talking to a political expert tonight to help you get ready. David Julio is a political pro. Political science professor and director of the Center for Civic Engagement at Oakland University. So I bent David's ear about Tuesday's primary elections, and he weighed in on some heavy-weighted races. First, let's head to Macomb County, where New Baltimore and St. Clair stores have mayoral and city council candidates vying for some top spots. And then there is the city of Warren. There's certainly been controversy in Warren both with the mayor and with the city council. There's gonna be a lot of turnover on the city council and could be some in the mayor's office. And other battles too. Moving right along as we make our way to Wayne County, there are a host of people looking to retain or gain government gigs in Highland Park, Livonia, and Melvindale. Now it's off to Oakland County. In Bloomfield Township, there is a police and fire proposal on the ballot. And next, we bounce on over to Birmingham. $57 million or so would uh, be bonded for the voters to um, uh, move forward with a large construction project just up the street here. New parking structure with some retail on the bottom. The folks that are for it uh, say that much of that, the vast majority of that, would be paid for with parking fees. If you plan to vote in the primary elections in your neighborhood, as you should, there are some new voting rules that could be helpful. You can still get an absentee ballot, Yep. and you don't need a reason. If you're not registered to vote, you can still show up on election day, register to vote, and vote at the same, at the same time. Overall, even if these primaries are not in your city, you should still pay attention, people, because... Things that happen in that community might spill over uh, politically or governmentally into yours. And he is 100% absolutely right. If you need more information about tomorrow, go to our website, WXYZ.com. Happy voting, my friends. Good luck. Reporting live, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.